Hello, and welcome to my final video in the tips and tricks series for getting into Skull Girls. And this time I'm gonna be telling you about defending and some neutral, I'm not gonna go that in depth, but I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what characters want to do and what you could do against those types of strategies. In a while since I make that video, I'm gonna try to get into YouTube more now, again. But I'm gonna do a channel update for that. Whatever, let's get started. So, for punishing. Punishing is very weird in this game, since there is push block that a lot of new players do not use. I do not know why there are times when I used to play this game. There it is. That no one push block. No one did this. Like, the new player never did a tutorial, and I can literally just harass them with a low that was plus and just like kill them with a single button like that. So if you're watching this, just goddamn, just push block, please. So, because there are push blocks, punishing is weird. When you're punishing, you're usually punishing something your opponent messed up with. Let's say your opponent does sweep and doesn't cancel to anything. Minus 27. You go in and punish. So what moves are punishable? Do you need to know all the frame data in the entire game? No. But you need to know some specific things. As a general rule, sweeps, launchers, and heavy buttons, which all are... The sweeps and the launchers are heavy buttons, are punishable. This does not apply to everyone, though. Like, let's say this is crouching heavy punch, minus 15 punishable standing heavy kick, minus 15 punishable. But standing heavy punch for failure is actually minus 4. The quickest jab in this game is five frames, meaning this is completely safe from the entire cast. You need to know those things. A lot of players also like to do frame traps in which I actually cancelled it when you tried to punish into something that is also unsafe. You can actually consistently punish because minus 25 by waiting for the cancel window to end and you can punish the gap in between there. No problem. There's another exception with Bella with her sweep. Her sweep is zero. This is like fucking crazy, but I guess some characters just have better things than others because I don't know. <laughs> and of course, as usual, reversals aren't safe. Minus 59. That's basically an entire second to punish. That's a little more than an entire second. And that's more than an entire second to punish. Reversals are usually unsafe. Some exceptions. Mainly just Peacock, if I remember correctly, where at like this distance. Medium Bang, even if it's technically punishable at minus 9, most of the cast can't do anything at this distance. Cannot do anything at this distance because of the pushback. Most moves that are forward moving are considered very strong and are punishable because of it. Like that, minus 15. But even Philia has an exception with being able to cancel it with a dash and then up being plus so be careful with that but on the ground everything like that is usually punishable like doubles hornet bomber but the super armor move she has is minus six and at good distances you will just you cannot punish at this distance like good spacing you won't be able to punish most Characters that have a very far reaching low or something are actually 7 frames of startup, meaning in a lot of matchups, doing this point blank can actually be safe. Not all characters have a 5 frame jab. So, and it's because it would be like a perfect frame punished, it's kinda hard to punish. That's pretty hard, that's pretty safe from her, be careful, especially if you're playing online. So, what something. Now, I've told you some exceptions on that, but you also have to be careful not people get away with things. I usually see people get away with two things online. Well, I did when I used to play. And that's Valentine and Robo. So Valentine Shuriken Toss is minus nine. So if she commits to this, don't push block. Because you will just be able to punish. Everyone can punish at this distance, no problem. And even if they try to do something like this, you, most characters usually have a move that will actually reach. There you go. But don't let them get away with that. A lot of characters can actually reach from here with a mine. 
from and punish a minus nine situation with their low. So don't do that. Something Valentine does have safe though is that the light bypass minus four completely safe from anyone. I think even this one. No, medium one is minus seven. Most characters can punish with a jab. Most slow jabs are six frames. It's gonna be a little hard to punish, but you will be able to. And heavy one is always punishable, minus eight, minus ten. But be careful with this, because if you like ending with the light one and your opponent realizes, they might actually push block. And you might end up in a situation like this. Now you're minus 27 because it whiffed and everyone will punish you. So be careful with that. A Valentine that committed can be a little hard to punish because of the different situations. But if they do not have an assist to cover them, a good player will be able to punish you. So be careful with that. Something a lot of robots get away with is the medium low, medium kick, any medium kick into the overhead. And people get hit by that. And just let me tell you right now. From medium if you see if you block medium kick, be it standing medium kick or low medium kick, and robot does not have a low assist, just block high. The only thing she can do after a medium kick is launcher, the armored move, the overhead dust, and head call, which are all unsafe. If they have an assist that is low, it's an actual mix-up. But if it's not a low assist, then they're trying to lock you down. So at that point, you actually have to be push blocking before they they start locking you down. But do not push block this, the launcher. It's minus 12, very unsafe. Do not push block this if they don't have an assist. Very unsafe. And But what about the beam you're telling me? The beam is also super unsafe. Minus 11. You are able to punish that, no problem against a robo that has committed with a medium kick that you blocked and they do not have an assist to cover themselves just punish them and once again because most of the cast actually has something to make themselves safe be it a special move or just a move that is safe or an assist to cover them and continue punishing is usually something you do when your opponent messes up but it's good to have this little amount of knowledge if you want to be punishing so my tip would be just try to push block everything. But if some, if they mess up somewhere, or if something seems unsafe that they did, but you push blocked it, just make the conscious decision right there. I'm gonna see it, not gonna push block it next time I see it. And try to punish it. You're new to this game, winning is not everything. Try to learn. Try to have fun and learn at the same time. So now for neutral. Neutral is very weird in this game because you know everyone has everyone has a customizable assist and neutral assists are very popular in this game, especially with Big Man because everyone plays Big Man because he's one of the best characters in the game. But whatever. So Squiggly will usually be in the air throwing out this move. Because jumping light kick with Squiggly is so Fast, it has such a good hitbox and it has good priority and you can actually confirm with this So they will actually be doing this a lot or even doing this So usually what you want to do is have an assist that is a good anti-air like big man's Or actually just know your anti-airs and how to use them Be like hey I actually have something You cannot just be in the air you have to protect the Russian skies but if you really are not trying, if you are not trying to meet Squiggly there, or in the air, she will be doing her charges. And you don't want her to do that, so you gotta be active on the ground most of the time, while covering the air. This is something, again, this is very basic, but just something to look out for. Big Band doesn't like to be full screen because he's huge and gets zoned out pretty easily, so he likes to be in your face. How does he do that? So they will do this punch thingy, but they will hit the brakes before they reach because it has armor and it's a good way to 
to start going in, but it might be a little unsafe, so a lot of them have a neutral assist, which I don't think I have with these characters right now, but they have a neutral assist to like cover themselves while doing this. And try to get in your face, a lot of them will actually do this, because it goes into a tech situation, and actually a lot of them will, after teching from the ground, they will wake up DP because you're, you think you're gonna be at an advantage and they just wake up DP and they have full combo and resets after a DP because that's Big Man, meter less and everything, you know? So that's usually what Big Man's trying to do. But if Big Man is all the way over here and doesn't really want to go in, he will usually try to harass you with the step that's unblockable or just jump and do the moves that have a giant hitbox so if you try to go in recklessly you'll just get hit. Little tip I can give you so it's a little easier to go into big man is dash blocking. Dash blocking is something a lot of top players use and it's actually very simple. A lot of people, usually new players, like to dash with the double tap of forward or back you know. But since this is a Marvel type air dasher, you can just do that with two hits. Two punches, I mean. Mm -hmm. And if you do that and immediately block, you will continue to dash and block at the same time. Let me show you. And let's try it out. Did you see that? I was dashing forward and blocking at the same time. If you crouch you stop immediately so be careful with people trying to catch you with lows if they realize you're doing that but that's a good way to get into big man because if they commit and do something like this and you're dashing you're already blocking so you're gonna be basically safe eliza also likes to be in the air with her big buttons don't let these big buttons uh, trick you into thinking they're better than they are. I've already covered this in other videos, but basically This button is very easy to stuff and any assist or anti air will probably stop it And you're probably gonna win in most of the situations where they do this So don't let them get away with this a lot of Eliza's like to do that. Don't let them get away with it Eliza is very easy to anti air so you have to do it and from there they like to go in with this because it's very forward moving and they can cancel it to like this because it's a low and whoop overhead or they sometimes they can even do this to catch you off guard so just be careful with that if you have a good move like this you can just stop it because that only has armor against projectiles so if you have a move that's pretty good like that one, you can just stuff it if you want and you'll catch them off guard. Let's see with the other characters. Uh, Misfortune is actually very, very <laughs> weird as what her neutral is. So... Misfortune likes to be in your face again. To do things like this and then full combo she's plus you gotta push block that if you actually block it and so on she likes to be in your face she's very fast she can actually low profile uh parasols projectiles so against parasols she can just run forward and kick her ass but she doesn't have many things and a lot of matchups to actually get in safely except for going from the air the dp into dash basically covers full screen so again you gotta be protecting the skies and something they like to do is harass you with head be like whoop and if they hit they can run in and start on their whole setup and just reset you and kill you so what can you do against this something you can do against the head is basically just hit it just like if they're over here doing something, hit it and try to be ready for them to press a button or you call an, as an invincible assist or you do an invincible move to stop them when they try to punish you for hitting their head. A lot of fortunes fall for that and it's very fun. For Peacock, I honestly don't know what to tell you. A lot of characters have different things. Uh, the only thing I can actually recommend you 
with in good conscience is to look up videos of actual peacock mains that tell you how to deal with peacock because you don't want to be full screen against peacock with pain will oh pain will i tried to play you but then i realized i was playing you the exact same way everyone plays you because it's kind of like the best way to play her so pain wheels will be flying backwards and if you try to recklessly go in they will just stuff you with an armored move that's what they do or when they have an assist they'll call the assist and go in and be like whoa where are you supposed to block and that's basically the entire neutral with them what can you do against this well well this is very character specific if you have a character with good buttons that are fast and have good hitboxes in the air like parasol you can meet her in the air and try to stop her armor move because it's only one hit of armor so the second move will get her or an assist an entire assist is also good to try and stop her from doing her things and that's kind of it. You gotta be ready to meet her in the air with good things or be able to defend yourself from the ground or put pressure from the ground. Philia wants to be in the air a lot of the time. Air dashing, doing things like this. You probably see this a lot. And they just want to be in your face. They can also do something like this and go in. Kind of similar to Misfortune. That's what they want to do. What are you gonna do about it? Well, a lot of characters can actually stop her with a button when she's trying to air dash and do this. Be ready for that. Or have an assist or be ready to protect the skies. Again, a lot of this neutral thing is just trying to protect the skies or meet her in the air with better buttons to try and punish her. Or try to harass her more so she cannot start all her rush down. Against Bella, sweeping is really good. So, because sweeping nullifies armor so you will just punish her for trying to abuse armor because a lot of them tried to go in with an assist a neutral assist and run stop and they start the whole thing again or if everything else fails they will jump and medium punch i cannot in good conscience tell you to try and meet her in the air when she's doing this because this is probably the best air button in the game you will probably get stuffed and very punished so just be careful with that. Valentine likes to be in the air. I also try to play Valentine, but everyone plays her basically the same. Just jumping around and then catching you off guard because you try to recklessly go in. Once again, the dash block works wonders against her because she will do this and then try to stuff you with an air dash like that. So the dash block with an assist, with an invincible assist, it's really good against her. So... That would be great. Or again, just try to get... Actually, try to get under her. If you have a good anti-air, try to get under Valentine. Because Valentine, when she's just falling like this, she can't do much. So with a good anti-air into mix-up or something, you will be able to do something. So try and dash block with an invincible assist if you can. If you can't, try and get under her and anti-air her. So Parasol doesn't have any air mobility, she just has jumps. She's a very traditional fighter like that. She has a great air air buttons. She's one that has some of the best air buttons in the game. So most of the time she will try to get you in the air, meet you in the air, and just hit you with her superior air buttons. But because you know this is what she wants, you can jump her before and grab her out of it or something. You know? She has Zoning, it's not the best zoning, most characters can just push block and super jump out and then they'll be super close or just push block and jump out and they'll be closer and she will be more pressured. She has a good dash though, so like at this distance she also has good buttons, be careful with the dash lows or just being hit with things like, like crouching medium into, into tier, it's a really good move. Because the tier is there, you're a little scared to press a button because it will blow up. So they dash up. You can stop them when they dash up. With either an assist or anything you have. So just keep that in mind. Double, you don't really want to be in the air against Double that much. Because if you get hit with her fireball while you're in the air, you will 
have a red bounce and she can pick you up into combo or one of the nastiest resets in the entire game if you try to get in from up high she has this little anti-air because she steps back with this she can kind of reversal them because even if you're gonna hit from here if she does this you won't hit because she steps back and this is basically her neutral just trying to get you with the shot and if she's a little close dash low or dash grab or if you're a little scared to be in the air they will just like jump and do this and start with their pressure so be careful with that Fuqua has everything I honestly don't know what to tell you her dealing with her neutral is actually pretty tough especially if she has a good assist like you need to be careful with the overhead and the low that she can hold and she can actually throw fireballs at the same time I honestly that's mostly experience mostly experience with players you'll be like oh this player this guy this person likes to do this most of the time and things like that or Beowulf and Royal Fortune Beowulf likes to toss chair at any sign of danger because it's actually plus one and if you get hit if he has a big man assist or something he could actually convert into combo and reset and kill you but once without chair he will try to harass you with armored moves and this is a tag situation just like big man and try to get you to do something the thing about this is that they're all unsafe but he has a get out of get out of jail free card with this super completely invincible from startup and a little bit after so whoop i'm out of there you can't punish me fuck you things like that with chair you you've seen this they like to jump and do this very big disjointed hitbox with some of the best priority in the game that will stuff even some of the best attires in the game because that's beowulf so be careful with that they will also try to go in with blitzwolf which they can just get out of dodge to so try and have a good neutral assist or try and have a good bottom out that can stuff them usually in the air he can't do much if you have if he doesn't have chair and you have good bottoms and good awareness in the air it's better to meet him in the air row fortune. fortune her zoning is not that great as i've told you before without an assist it's not that dangerous she will try to like jump helicopter and do this if she doesn't have an assist you can just start dashing forward you'll get hit a couple times doesn't matter once you're in her face she can't do much if she doesn't have assists if she does have assists neutral assist she'll try to go in with them and try to do some cheeky stuff and if she has a uh, lockdown assist like this lockdown assist and try to mix you up so in neutral you gotta be punishing her neutral assist because without that she's at a disadvantage and that's basically it if characters rely a lot on neutral assist just punish the neutral assist eventually the opponent will be forced to not call it that much and you'll be at an advantage so thank you very much for watching that i hope this helped and see you next time